Hey guys, what is up? It's Renee and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm bringing you guys my first ever baking video. If you know my channel, you know it's mainly based around beauty, hair, and lifestyle. But baking is one of my other passions, so I decided to introduce that to you guys and to my channel today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these delicious vegan chocolate chip and pecan cookies. They are so easy to make and perfect for the upcoming holidays, you know, if you want to leave Santa some cookies under the tree. But these cookies are like for cool Santa that drinks kombucha and eats spicy wings from Veggie Grill, which are so good, by the way, 10 out of 10 would recommend. So if you want to know my recipe and how I bake these cookies, please keep on watching. Before anything, you want to make sure that you preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then we're going to take our nice big bowl here and dump in our one cup of brown sugar. And then add in half a cup of coconut oil. I'm just using the Trader Joe's brand one. This is my favorite one to use for beauty and cooking. And then with our hand mixer, we're just gonna cream it all together. So this is what the ingredients should look like now that we cream them together. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in 1 fourth of a cup of almond milk. And one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And now we'll just mix it all together again. And now we're done mixing our wet ingredients. I don't know if you can tell, but the mixture is pretty liquidy, but that's perfectly fine. That's how we want it. So we're just gonna set this aside and bring in another bowl for our dry ingredients. So now that we have our bowl for our dry ingredients, we're just gonna add in two cups of all-purpose baking flour. one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Now that I have all my dry ingredients in my bowl, I'm kinda just gonna toss them around a little bit, get them mixed up. Now that I have both my bowls ready, I'm just gonna combine my dry to my wet ingredients. And then just fold it all in together. And don't be scared if your mixture feels a little crumbly, that's how we want it. But be sure not to handle your dough too much because that is what toughens your cookies up. Now that our dough is nicely kneaded, it's time for the fun part. I'm just going to add in a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm using the Trader Joe's brand one, these are accidentally vegan. I'm also adding a cup of pecans to give it a nice little crunch. And then you're just gonna fold it all in. The fun part about this is that you can choose whatever mix-ins you want. I personally have used walnuts before and they came out delicious. You can use whatever type of nut you want. Maybe a dried fruit, like a dried cranberry. If you're not too worried about this being vegan, you can add some marshmallows, kind of make it a rocky road cookie, or some coconut flakes if you're into that. It's all up to you and you can have as much fun as you want with your cookies. Now that we're all done, the dough smells so good. I'm gonna take a baking tray with a cookie sheet and start to roll my cookies. You can use a spoon or a measuring device for this part, but I like to just eyeball it, give my cookies some personality and just plop them onto the baking tray. When our cookies are nicely rolled, we're gonna bake them at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes or just until the edges are nice and golden brown. finished product is absolutely perfect and it tastes so good thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like these sort of baking videos please let me know i would love to continue making them for you guys as always you can follow me on my other social medias i'll have them linked down below 
and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Check you later.